Okay. In this video, we will configure pre authentication policy for NAS or SK. What is pre authentication? In one of the previous video, I configured Citrix NAT Scalar Gateway for SSL VPN, right? And then we will tunneling into the internal network. And we were able to uh, we, and the user was able to access internal resources, right? But what if the user computer is infected with viruses? There is no security, it hasn't been updated in a while, antivirus definitions. Uh, out, of date, out of date, firewall service is not running, or even antivirus service is not running at all. In this case, with this type of client computer, we'll establish the SSL tunnel or SSL VPN to your to that scalar gateway. That client machine will be like on the like on the local network, and it may affect all the internal resources and can spread the malicious code or viruses. For example, this is the client computer I am in. And just to show, I have Windows Defender turned off and I have a warning message here as well that no spyware protection is on and no virus protection is on. And right now I'm Let's say if I ping uh, 101, for example, I'm not on SSL tunnel network or I'm not connected via SSL VPN yet, right? So still, if I can launch up my browser, as you can see right now, it's not connected, and I go to vpn.itsense.com. And as per our configuration, if you remember, I will be redirected to HTTPS like this one. I will log on as test local user, login, and I want to access the network using Citrix plugin, right? And Citrix plugin will launch shortly, as you can see here, establishing the control channel. And I already got authenticated. And as you can see, that's scalar gateway and the connection established. Once the connection is established, as you can see, uh, I should be getting See, now if I ping again, let's say, oops, what's that? Expired browser. That's strange. So, 10, 2, 2. Oh, it's alive. I can't ping it. But that's really weird. Okay. See if they ping 10, 10, 10, 100 minus 2. I don't know what went wrong, but as you can see now, internal is pingable. So as you can see, now I'm connected to internal network. I can go to website 10, 10, 10, 101, right? I can even access shares. Let's assume I have some shares. I don't, but let's say this is one of my server, and I will provide, of course, authentication because I am not connected as a domain user. At the moment, I can access your folders. And what if my PC is infected? So for this purpose, Citrix allows us to create access gateway pre-authentication policies who can perform certain checks on users' computers. And if the user's computer doesn't satisfy those checks, then user can be denied access. User computer will not be allowed to connect and establish an SSL tunnel or SSL VPN. Okay. So, how to do that? Let's configure it on our gateway. So, just close everything down. 
I will log off and once I will log off I can yeah. Ah, not connected now, so click clean up window up here and you are not logged out. Okay, fine. Mm, good. So, what should we do? Let's go to our net scale gateway and. Okay, sorry, I'll just go go back to the dashboard. Configuration. Alright. Now, the first thing we need to do, we need to change the default global settings policies because by default, there is a global setting that allows everyone. Okay, so if I say change global setting, uh, sorry, sorry, not here, close, uh, change pre authentication settings. As you can see, by default, it's allowed. So I need to disable this because I don't want the default behavior to be allowed. Default behavior should be denied and then I can create another policies, the authentication policies. And if those condition matches, the user will be allowed. Okay. So deny. And okay. And it's been modified. It's done. So just to test that, if we go back again, yeah, we pre again authentication settings are actually doing something at the moment, so it will just ignore this message for a while. So what I would like to do, yeah. It is scanning your system, see the endpoint analysts, and it would run the scan. It will run the scan, but there is no condition to match against. So eventually I will be denied. You see, I, it did not give me login page yet. And it doesn't know what to scan for. Access denied. Did not meet, meet the requirement. And what's the requirement? It's not telling me. And there is no requirement as such at the moment. Uh, no. So I will close this. Of course, it's not reachable now. So I'll close this as well. So now, what should we do? As you can see, I'm not connected. So we have created a default behavior which will not allow. It means there has to be certain check. See, we just did the deny. And that's why when I type the URL, URL it did not allow give me login screen anymore it do for pre-authentication settings but where i can define those settings like where i can create the policies under the policies i go to pre-authentication and add and i can say ssl av policy SSL antivirus policy or security or security policy. It's just a name, whatever makes sense to you. Request action. Right now there is no, so I can create one. Allowed action. And action is allowed. Okay. This policy says allow the action if certain conditions met. Now, what's that condition? Here we will build that expression. And how to do that? We go to expression editor and see expression types, general, client security, network based, date and time files. It's a very versatile system. We can say it's client security and see antivirus personal firewall security and spam process service we can check for a service and what's the service name for windows defender i think it is this if i'm not mistaken ah. 
sorry. This is a call. Okay, so the name is Win Defend. Sorry, that's a W is Win Defend. And exist means to make sure it's running. And um, client service Win Defend exist. And you'll see create. And our policy has been created. Policy has been created, however, it's not been assigned yet to the system. Right? Okay, to apply the policy that we have created, we need to go to the global settings, like we highlight the NetScaler Gateway. We go to NetScaler Gateway Policy Manager. Go to AAA Global and add and binding and we select the policy that we created. Okay, and bind and that's it. Now the our our policy is bind to global AAA policy. So now we have done everything, and now it's time to perform test on client computer. So let's do it. Okay, let's try to perform the test. Yeah, I'm, I'm on client computer now. So I'll fire up, and I'll go to vpn.itsense.com. Of course, still I'm not connected shouldn't be uh, I was performing check as you can see scanning you want to run the scan yes access denied okay and the reason is it's turned off I guess so so how about if I try to remediate this and okay so now what I will do I will turn on spyware and malware protection as well as virus protection so my Windows Defender service will be on so if I turn it on Good. And yeah, it's all it's, it's on. So let's see. Just to verify, if we go to control panel, administrative tools, services, and see Windows Defender. Yeah, Windows Defender service is running. So as Windows Defender Service is running, and you can see here, let's run the scan again. Go back, and let's see. Will it give me login screen or not? So now it's doing this endpoint analysis, pre-authentication endpoint analysis to make sure that my system is secure. And here it goes give me login screen so I will log in as test local it detected that uh, that the Windows Defender service is running and it allowed me to log in so I will go for the client and Citrix yeah that scalar gateway plugin will start Right now, I am unable to access any internal IP as VPN is not established yet. Connection established. And here it goes. I'm starting to get pings. So, as I am on internal network, if I go to here and I type the internal IP address of the website, 
Yes, I should be able to get it. And 102 web server 2. Fine. Same thing for shared folders because right now I'm tunneling into internal network. And oops. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, IT sense administrator, and I should be able to see shared folders. And here, as you can see, but now it's not a problem because my system is secure, and that's what the authentication policies made sure that I have Windows Defender Service run. So that's what pre-authentication policies are all about. They perform system checks on client computers. And if they satisfy the requirements, then they allow client computer to authenticate. Good test. All very well done. All set. So this is it, guys. Uh, we have successfully tested pre-authentication policies for Windows Defender Service, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.